Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me and liking and subscribing and sharing. I really appreciate it. Um, today I'm doing your love and relationship reading for Libra. This is for the last two weeks in August 2017. And this is just a general reading, so please take whatever resonates with you. Um, if you would like a more personal reading, I would love to do that for you. And I will leave all of my information in the description box. So, today I'm using the uh, Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And the Radiant Writer Weight Tarot deck. Okay, I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards, Libra. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in store for your love life. Okay. Adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, Libra. There's a little glare on that. I'm going to try to fix that for you. Okay. So, Libra. At the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have the Four of Cups. Okay. So, this is your overall energy for these last two weeks of August. I feel for some of you, um, you're at a crossroads. Okay. You're, for a lot of you, you're having to make a decision, and this could be between two people, or two situations, um, or it could be just with one person specifically, whether you want to stay with this person or not, but four is not a good energy um, to be in. It's kind of... Um, it's kind of like... You feel stuck but there's also there's boredom I'm feeling for some of you you're kind of just tired with um, things having been the way they are for some of you you're stuck in the past you're stuck on a past relationship um, if you see this man he's sitting here under the tree and he's got his arms crossed and he's um, he's looking at these cups down here universe is is trying to offer him something new a new cup and he's not interested in it okay so I feel for some of you you're stuck in the past you're stuck on something that um, is maybe not being very fulfilling for you right now you're not seeing what is coming in and what is being offered to you or what you already have and maybe you're looking um, you know somewhere else for emotional fulfillment okay so, I'm also getting for some of you that you're avoiding having to deal with this situation. Um, you're just kind of blocking it out and pretending it'll go away. And that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, we have to deal with things. Okay. So, some of you may be stuck in the past. And... There may be on your part or your partner's part, there may be a lack of commitment or a lack of um, being able to move forward with this relationship. Okay, so kind of stuck in a crossroads right now. So let's see why, Libra. Let's look a little bit deeper into the reading. Okay. So for your first card, we have Forgiving and Learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay. So yeah, I feel a lot of you are stuck um, on something from the past. You haven't forgiven. You haven't been able to let this go. Um, and therefore, you're not able to move forward in a new relationship or 
Um, even if you are in a relationship, I feel for some of you, there's, there's somebody or something from your past that's holding you back. Okay. So you, you're, you're kind of, I feel like for a lot of you, you're being pulled in two different directions. Okay. And, and that can mean many different things depending on your situation. Okay. But take, take it as a, how it applies to you. Um, clarifying that we got the eight of cups in the reverse. Okay, so I feel you've tried to walk away from this situation in the past and it hasn't worked. Um, you want to walk away from it, but you're very strongly emotionally attached to it. Um, so there's confusion. Um, again, you're kind of at that crossroads with the four of cups. Like you're, you're just not sure. Um, a lot of confusion, a lot of thinking, um, but this whole situation, you're very, very emotionally tied to this person from your past. Like, you can't let go. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, you know you need to let go. You need to either forgive this person or just um, forgive yourself and move on or just totally cut this person out of your life, okay? Okay. And I feel like for some of you, you might be doing that in these next two weeks. We have the eclipse coming up. And that's a real powerful in energy for all of us. So um, I feel like if you really, really want to move on, I feel like you're able to. Um, you just, you're doubting yourself right now. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you, Libra. Okay. The next card you have is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Clarifying that, we got the chariot. Okay, so you could be addicted to this person from your past. Um, you feel like you can't let go of them no matter what. You've tried. You know you need to let go of them. But you just can't for some reason. They very well could feel the same way towards you. They could be trying to move on with their life. And for some reason, they can't let go of you. So there's there's a very strong uh, addiction there. Um, could be a sexual addiction. It could be emotionally addicted. could be a financial addiction. I mean, there's many different types of codependency. Um, so, so, yeah. You, with the chariot... You could be dealing with a cancer, not necessarily, but um, that is the card of cancer. With the chariot here, though, this is a this is a major arcana. This is a good energy. Okay, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, this is the time. This is the month you're going to be able to walk away from this situation. Okay, the chariot is all about moving forward. Um, the chariot talks about being in control of your life, being in control of your situation. Okay. And that is not codependency. Okay. You're not, um, you're not going to be controlled by anyone anymore. Okay. You know what you want. You have set your standards and you're going to, you're going to move ahead. And I really think for a lot of you Libras, I think this month you're going to be able to walk away from this negative codependent um, relationship. E even if it was a past relationship that's kind of keeping you from moving forward. I feel like you're, t you're tired. You're done. You're just, you're over it. You're ready to move ahead. Um, and if this person, this person could have an addiction. Um, it could be that they have their own addiction of alcohol or drugs or whatever. Um, if this person is not willing to get help, you're moving on without them, okay? You're not going to let them drag you down. Um, you cannot save people. You can love them and be there to support them, but you cannot save them. That is up to um, each individual person to be responsible for themselves, okay? So I feel like um, these last two weeks of August, you're going to really be feeling very strong, or in the past, you might have felt like, you know, I just can't walk away from this person. I can't do it. Um, 
you can and you know you can and if you want to you will okay so this is a great card the chariot is a major arcana this is great energy this is all about moving ahead and being in control of your life so i'm really excited to see that card for you libra okay let's see what else we have for you last card is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so clarifying that we have the ten of cups okay so yeah for some of you um you you might be having some um issues with uh, a parent and maybe that parent has somehow um, scarred you during your childhood and it's affected your relate your love relationships and your um you weren't able to get over the situation okay so for some of you this is a time of healing a time of soul searching and a time of forgiving a time of letting go of past hurts um i feel for a lot of you you're going to turn this card around you're going to be able to walk away from anything does, that does not serve you emotionally and even if this person that's hurt you has not asked for forgiveness, you're going to be able to be the bigger person and walk away, okay? And say, I forgive you and I wish you well. And um, that's going to set you free. That's going to help you, okay? Now, clarifying uh, the healing family issues, we got the Ten of Cups. This is an awesome card, Libra. This means... Um, back here we had the four of cups which was you know confusion boredom not able to make a decision then you went to the eight of cups which was walking away from the situation the ten of cups is like you've arrived okay this is total emotional fulfillment you're going to be able to in the next couple of weeks heal whatever you've been going through okay this is all about um, happy home life, a happy family. Um, this is about loving yourself and your partner. This is about love, respect, um, feeling content. This is total emotional fulfillment. And the only way you can do that is to heal the past. Heal whatever is been dragging you down and hurting you, okay? But you're going to get there. You're going to get there, Libra. And this Ten of Cups, this is for you. This is, um, you're going to be totally emotionally fulfilled. And this might be, you know, without, you might have to leave somebody behind, okay? Um, again, if they're not willing to work on their addictions or their issues, then you might have to leave them behind. But um, you will find somebody else. Um, you will, okay? So this is all about completing the cycle going through all that hurt and pain and finally completing the cycle and ten of cups is um you're just feeling happy content at peace okay you're no longer in emotional pain so it's not easy to get there libra i know i, I understand i've been through that um it's not easy to get there but it's so worth it and i know you can do it so this has been a really great reading for you libra i hope you'd enjoyed it um Please leave me a comment if this resonated with you. I would love to hear your stories. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I would love to do that for you as well. I'll leave all my information down in the description box. And thank you so much again for your support. And I will see you in two weeks.